Hey guys, so today I'm going to be starting my favorite brushes series. You guys have asked for a really long time if I would share some of my favorite synthetic brushes with you. The reason I haven't is because there's so many. Um, so after talking to some of you on Snapchat, I decided what might be the best option is to bring you a series where I pick my top five of a certain brush. So top five foundation brushes, top five eye brushes, top five bronzing brushes, etc. And since I figured foundation brushes to me are one of the most important for me to really love, I am starting with foundation. Also, a quick disclaimer, these aren't all clean because we're among friends. So I've not like rated these one through five. These are just my top five equally amazing foundation brushes. Um, so I'm just gonna start randomly. So the first one I picked up was the Zoeva 106 powder brush and I don't use this for powder. This is one of my favorite brushes to use with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I can't fully explain why I love that combination, but I feel like for slightly more watery foundations, this is a great brush because it is kind of loosely packed, but it still does a really good job of buffing. So to me, it just works really well with thinner um, consistency foundations. So thicker foundations or solid foundations, I probably wouldn't use this with. But for something like the Born This Way foundation, I love this because it's quick. It kind of just skims it over the skin really evenly. And yeah, not its intended purpose, but still a great one. Also good for BBs, CCs, tinted moisturizers, and things like that, as long as they're not super thick. Next one. Okay, so this one, although I love, I haven't talked about a bunch and I'm not sure why, but um, this is the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki. It's just your average kind of Kabuki, but it's cut on an angle. So there's kind of like this peak in the middle. All Sigma Kabukis are awesome. They're really nicely made. They apply makeup really nicely. And the cool thing about it being this shape is you can really kind of get into any cracks like around the nose. Some people have like a deeper kind of crease around the nose naturally. This is really good to kind of get in there and buff it out. Also great for if you naturally crease there a lot because you can just give it one of those, you know? Also great for contouring. If you want to chisel things out, you can do it with this. If you want to clean up with a lighter color under your jawline, great with this too. Um, and it's just a really nifty brush. It's also good to get under the eyes with it. So you could use this for foundation and concealer. Yeah, again, I don't know why I've not mentioned it more. I love using it and I love the shape and I think it's a really awesome design. So this would be good for liquids, creams. I've used it with powders too. Anything that you want to buff, but also have a little bit more um, precise, you know, I don't know what the word is. Okay. Number three. This next one is the Furless CB3. It's a kind of rounded, kind of kabuki brush, but it has a slightly flat or squashed ferrule. So I think that this is great for any foundation, powders, liquids, creams, tinted moisturizers. It buffs really well. It's very easy to use. If you have something you prefer to apply more in a kind of like paintbrush manner, it's good for that too, because it does have that kind of flat shape. And again, you can kind of get in all of the nooks and crannies of the face and it's great. It's also really good for um, sculpting and such, but just a really great foundation brush, applies the makeup really easily and all of the furless, what's it called, couture body set. Every brush in this set is really great because it picks up a lot of product, but it doesn't get stuck in the brush. It puts it straight on your face, which is kind of rare for some foundation-y brushes, but these do a really great job of it. I've had furless brushes for years now. I don't think I've ever had to repair or throw one away. Yeah, a great brush. Really like it. Good for anything. Okay. Number four is the Artise Oval 8. Um, they have a bunch of different finishes to these, so they have a bunch of different sets, but um, I think any Oval 8 will have the same head on it at least. It might look slightly different on the handle, but the head will be the same. These brushes look like somewhere between a toothbrush and an old kind of like boudoir brush. 
um, but they are very nifty for personal makeup application especially. They have, as you can imagine, tons of fibres in here. Not tons. Maybe thousands, millions. I don't know. Some number. And what's nice about it is the product will mostly stay on top of the brush. So the product is being put on your skin with the brush, buffed out, and it's not just getting sunk deep down into the bristles because these are very densely packed so it would be hard to get it out if, it, if they did absorb a lot, but they don't. I love applying my Kat Von D powder foundation with this. It goes on so nicely. It gives just such an even application. So any foundations that you have a hard time with looking streaky or just kind of like not looking quite right, this is a really great brush for that because it's going to put it on every area and it's going to use this whole surface to buff that out onto your skin. So it's just a beautiful brush, really great way of applying your makeup. They are pricier, but I think if you are going to use this on the daily for your foundation, well worth it because of the application it gives you. So yeah, there's a reason people like these brushes. They're awesome. I also use this with liquids, creams. It really does work magic on anything. Um, probably the one thing I haven't really tried it with is a setting powder, but it would probably be good for that too. So a really great brush, kind of cool, interesting design. And um, if you are gonna get one for your foundation, get the oval eight, I think it's a great size. And then the last brush, number five, is the OCC Large Foundation Brush. More of a pink brush style, but I know some people do love this kind of method of application, more like a pink brush. I also want to mention that this brush is probably about six years old now. Um, their brushes last super well, really well made, and the fibers are all beautiful, um, synthetic fibers. And for anything that you just want to kind of paint on, any problem areas, if you just like to apply foundation with this style of brush, this is a great one. It's also nice to kind of paint on cream contours, stuff like that. Yeah, I do really love this one. Something I love to do is apply foundation and stuff with this and then buff it out with a slightly bigger brush. But if you have something like a tinted moisturizer that you just want to kind of cover your problem areas with, this is awesome, makes very quick work of it. So that is it for my top five foundation brushes. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, so please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. All of the brushes will be linked below, um, along with my social media if you would like to add me on there. So yeah, let me know what your favorite foundation brushes are and what uh, brush you'd like to see next. Yeah, I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.